Okay. Let's get this show on the road. So, I got my Hawaiian shirt too. So, um, welcome to cow dancing. This problem is called cow dancing, and imagine this. Okay, the cows are having a dance show. Basically, uh, yeah, the cows have, are having a dance show, and each cow has their own routine that has like an X amount of time. Like, this guy will take eight minutes, this guy will take six minutes, blah, 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 blah. Your goal is to finish the whole dance show with everyone finishing their routines in eight minutes, under or under T max, in this case, what we need. Um, the neat thing about it is that there's a stage, right? In this case, it'll be three. And it can hold up to K cows. This is adjustable. And they all dance simultaneously, okay? Meaning we can cut the time. Or instead of one person dancing at a time, we can do this real quickly. So since they're all dancing simultaneously, let's say when this cow finishes, right? Four minutes has passed. Meaning... So four minutes has passed. Meaning this seven means that this cow still has three more minutes of dancing to go. That makes sense, right? The whole routine takes eight minutes, but four minutes have just passed in this example. So this cow has four minutes left to go. That's the idea of simultaneity. simultaneity. Um, having all the cows dancing at the same time, we can optimally place the cows such that we can like get everyone dancing, right? We also have these cows on the like um, in the line. They're all in the line, by the way. They can't adjust the order. Um, but once a cow finishes, so let's say this cow finishes, right? This becomes three. This becomes four. The next cow pops in and moves in and now has to start its own routine. That's the idea. And your goal is to basically finish your whole little line and under an X amount of time. So, um, yes. Now you'll notice a couple things, right? When K gets super large, we're optimizing the amount of time by cutting out the waiting time for these cows. And we're also making all the cows dance at the same time. So if you had a, um, a K of size like infinity or even N, uh, we take the maximum amount of time, right? Since they're all dancing at the same time, the show ends with this being the maximum amount of time, if that makes sense. And then on the other hand, if we had a K of size one, the amount of time the show would take would be four plus seven plus eight plus six plus four, because each cow has to dance individually and we can't optimize by having multiple cows dancing at the same time. So your goal is to find a balance between the two and find a K such that it is still less than the amount of time like we have for the show but it has to be the smallest k. Smallest possible to finish show. That's the goal. So, how do we do that? Well, first things first, right? We have the fact that it's easily binary searchable. Okay, meaning it has a monotonic function. So, the greater the the greater the k, right? So imagine these true or false values represent k, right? And if it is true, that means we can fit, or we can fit all the cows dance routines under the time limit with a stage size of four or stage size of x. If it's false, we can't fit within the time limit, okay? So the greater the amount of K, meaning more cows are being optimized by dancing instead of waiting, the higher chance that we're gonna be under the, um, the restricted time that we have, T max. The smaller the K, that means we're less, like we're, I guess, unoptimizing. Um, yeah, the, the dance show, making it so that less cows are dancing at the same time, taking it longer. So we have to find the first true. We have to find the first time that K reaches to a point where we can fit under the time limit. That is basically the problem. And this is just binary search. Okay. So the minimum bound would be one, right? And we have to have at least one cow dancing. And then the maximum bound would be N because anything above N we don't really need. 
we can if we can have everyone on stage, we can have everyone on stage. There's not really a point. Um, another thing we need to figure out. Yeah. So this is yeah. We just binary search that. Um, another thing we need to note though is that how do we determine whether it's true or false, right? Um, we can easily go through all the numbers, but how do we know if it's true or false? And this is a first true, by the way, first true binary search, if you wanna look into that. Um, but in order to check whether it works, we're gonna use this kind of priority queue deal that I'm gonna explain later. But I'm gonna explain in C++ because I'm more familiar with that. Okay, so this is just input, this is just n and t, t is the t max. We're gonna put everything into a vector and then we're gonna binary search k. I'm gonna look into this later. So this is just binary search, this is the minimum and then this is the maximum. This is gonna take log in time because it's a binary search. Uh, this is just like middle type of deal, this is just to prevent integer overflow. And then if we, if it works, what we're gonna do is we're gonna find a smaller value, right? So we're not gonna look for anything greater than a working solution, right? So in this example, mid would be, if this returned true, that means um, at k equals to mid, it works, okay? And if it does work, we're gonna to try to find a smaller value. Our upper bound's gonna decrease. Okay, this is a first true. And then we're gonna consider it as a solution. And if check mid doesn't return true, meaning um, like it is so unoptimized, it's it, it can't, like it's less than the maximum that we can allow, we're gonna look for a larger k. That's basically it. So here, um, the check function's a little nice, or a little neat. Um, this is a greater priority queue. It just means that the top will be the, the smaller value, smaller value or minimum. And that's important, um, but yeah, because, yeah. So this priority queue will represent the current times um, that the cows are dancing. So uh, this will be nicer if you all can visualize it actually. Uh, let's see. I'm just going to delete all this. Oh crap, no. Just going to delete that. Delete that. Okay, so an example, let's do three, size three. So what we're going to do is we're going to create a priority queue and we're going to set current time to zero. And you'll see why current time is important. And this is our priority queue. Okay, so right now we have a size of zero. It is not equal to mid. Mid is gonna be equal to three. Mid is our testing k. Okay, so currently our priority queue size is zero. We don't got anything in it. So we're gonna skip this. And then we're gonna push cur time plus vi. Cur time is equal to zero. And vi, we're gonna start from the left here, four. Then, um, cur time is equal to zero. Right, right now, the priority queue is still only equal to size one, and we're looking at a size of three for our stage, right? Imagine like all the cows like assembling on stage. This is what it's gonna look like. So we're gonna add another time. So it'll be zero plus seven. We're also gonna add zero plus eight because our priority queue hasn't fit its size yet. Okay. So now we have our priority queue. Um, this is kind of representing our stage. But it also contains the times. Um, it will be important. I don't. I'll be more specific later. So currently we have a size of mid. That means we can't put any more cows into the stage. Okay. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take out the guy with the smallest time. Okay. And that's in this case. In this case four. And this re represents the cow leaving first. Like this guy's routine is done. We're we're done with him. Okay. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna replace this, gosh, no, there we go. We're gonna replace this with current time. Okay. There we go. 
place with current time. And the idea here is that current time is going to represent the current time after like all the cows have finished routines, okay? So we don't need to like count every second of the dance routine, we just need to count when a cow finishes and when a cow joins in, okay? So a cow has just finished, okay? And so basically, right now it's what's going on is it's currently we've gone four minutes into the show. That's what it's simulating. Okay. Got it. And then we're going to eliminate it from the private queue. I'm going to make clean this up real quick. Okay. And now the priority queue is not of size three anymore. So we're going to add a new time. And right now we're going to add six into the new stage. Okay. And instead of adding six, Okay, we're gonna add six plus the current time, which would be 10. Remember, four minutes have just passed, right? And this cow still needs to dance for six minutes. So, at time 10, this cow will finish. And that's what each number represents. At time eight, this cow will finish. At time seven, this cow will finish. And that's the point, okay? And it gets pretty interesting too. So, once we have finished, right? So we're gonna iterate again, right? And we have just, uh, like our priority queue cut size is uh, now three. We're gonna pop the very back one, or the very the smallest one, right? This is this is the cow finishing its routine, and change the current time, and then add another cow in. And then instead of adding four, it's gonna be four plus the current time, which would be seven, right? At time seven, this cow is gonna finish, and then. Once we're done with the for loop, we're going to just uh, get all the priority queue things, or um, get all the values in the priority queue. And um, if the final time, the final time, current time right here, after deleting it, right? If we're continually deleting from a minimum priority queue and we're getting the top value, this current time will be the maximum. This is the maximum time when a when the final cow finishes dancing. And in this case, it'll be 13, which is greater than eight, meaning that this won't work. K equals three won't work. Meaning we're gonna have to look upwards and this is not a good choice. That's it. And you can also prove this with um, good values as well. Let me just kind of do here. Okay, so back to here. Let's say instead of mid equals three, it's gonna be mid equals four. And we're going to stuff a six on here too. Actually, this is a priority queue, so we're going to put the six in order. So it's going to go on, it's like this, right? Four is going to dance first. Four minutes have just passed, right? And we can fit another dancer in. Gosh, this is getting messy. Okay, so four is just finished, and then this guy is going to come back in. And our this cow will finish at time eight, right? Four minutes have just passed when the first day cow is finished, and then this new cow is joining in, and it will take four more minutes to complete that guy's routine. Okay, and you'll find that at time or the show ends at the maximum value of time eight. Um, yeah, quick time complexity stuff, right? So um, mid is basically k. Check whether it can fit all the cows in a certain time frame. But um, this takes log n time because binary search is log n, right? And our maximum value is n, and there's n numbers. Um, the check will take all of log n, right? Op like adding, pushing, and uh, pushing and popping up from a priority queue will probably will take a log in time and we're going to do n operations of it so in total it should be o of n log in log in log in that is the case um yeah And then I also have a Java implementation. So there's nothing really special about this one. In fact, it's literally just the same thing except uh, 
Yeah, it's literally just the same thing. Um, I do pass in a, pass in an array like as a value. Or no, I think it's pass by reference. Never mind. Okay, you don't need to worry about that. Uh, but yeah, I just use some input, and it's literally the same thing. Just copy paste. I'm gonna add this here. So I'm gonna add the code. Oh my god, I think I made a big mistake. Yes, that was terrible. Okay. Um, I'm gonna call this dancing.cp. Please copy. There we go. Okay, I'll send this link um, in the description, but yeah. That's cow dancing. It's not a hard problem, but um, it is pretty nice to see like the priority queue representing the time that a certain cow will finish. Right? You don't even know which cow is going to finish, but you just got to know the when the final cow finishes. That's it. Um, but yeah, I hope you enjoyed. I'll, I'm also wearing glasses. I don't wear glasses very often, but um, it's just for blue light. So, hope you enjoyed.